Welcome to another unboxing, guys. Today, I'm straying from uh, the video game collectibles and actually uh, going to start doing something that I should have been doing a long time ago, getting into my hot toys and my uh, sideshow uh, collectibles uh, unboxings. And um, this one uh, is is a very special to me. I was a big fan uh, growing up watching Terminator 1 and especially Terminator 2. This is the Terminator 2 Hot Toys T-800 Battle Damaged Sideshow Exclusive Edition. So this is Hot Toys DX-13, their 13th deluxe box set. I love these box sets. They're so complete and... They come with so much stuff uh, for you to, to just play with. I'm not that you're really supposed to play with these. I uh, I was a little disappointed in the last uh, T-800, the, the Arnold uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's sculpt. I didn't think was was uh, that great, but this one, when I saw it, I was hoping that the, it would live true to the prototype, and boy, does it. As we remove the uh, plastic bag from the box you can notice it's riddled with bullet holes terminator is very well known for bullet holes in everything um and this box is no exception fortunately it did not pierce the box so this box stands in line with uh pretty much all the other dx boxes that you may have seen um, it flips open uh, with the magnets right there, as you see, two magnets that uh, hold it down. The exterior of the box um, has a very nice uh, texture. It, it's supposed to mimic or and look like leather, which they actually did a very good job. I'm actually really impressed. Although uh, this box has a leathery texture, it, it doesn't match the one that... Arnold wore in the movies. I don't believe so. I believe in the movies his jacket was it had it was a smoother textured uh, leather. Uh, like most of the other DX box sets, this opens in the same manner. There's uh, some tissue paper there to make the uh, bullet hole stand out much more when you have it closed. Immediately, you're going to uh, see, uh, you know, the the text. I now know why you cry. It is something I can never do. Or, but it is something I can never do. I'm not going to try and, you know, mimic his voice. I'll just butcher it. And then uh, over here, it says, uh, uh, I sense injuries. The data can be called pain. Um, again, I'm not going to try and butcher what he says. Um, all DX sets, uh, they have, like, some kind of, like, little slip thing right here in each one of them. Um... I don't think that's from Arnold's actual jacket. It would probably be worth a lot more if it were. As we remove the top layer, we immediately see uh, Arnold. The top left has some of the credits of the artists who worked on uh, the sculpt and, and the outfits and whatnot. Uh, the sculpt on both of these faces are, in my opinion, so far as it stands right now, the best sculpts that Hot Toys has done yet. There are some really good ones. I think this is it. This is uh, Robert Patrick's uh, liquid metal head. This is what makes this entire set the exclusive, setting it apart from the regular version. The liquid metal Robert Patrick face, it's pretty good. Um, I can't say that it looks realistic because it's just, it's a very, you know, out there concept. So uh, let's be very careful about uh, pulling mini Arnold here out. His uh, left knee uh, has rips in, in his uh, leather pants already, so let's try not to do too much damage anymore to it. And as DX sets usually are, uh, we, we got to just peel these layers away. Um, Straight out the gate, we got a bunch of palms. So he's got, with the ones on him, five right hands and three left hands. Uh, right here, it seems we have the T-1000. It's pretty weighty, um, got some heft to it, and is about just as big as 
Arnold uh, or the T800 sculpt itself. This is a very, very nice addition. That's why I, I just love these DX sets. It's got the uh, liquid metal head, the uh, non-Robert Patrick on it already. And it's felted at the bottom. That's a very nice touch. Digging into another layer, we see, let's see, leather jacket and the base. Anything else underneath? No, just just making sure. Just uh, so this is a traditional DX uh, base with the you know the two lights up at the front. The grates look like it's supposed to mimic the uh, final scene area of uh, the movie. Uh, microfiber cloth, and that's pretty cool that they added that. I'm assuming that's for the T1000. See, these sets are just they think of everything. So here's the cradle crotch for the base. Um, another leather jacket for the uh, broken arm look. Underneath, let's see, we have more stuff. Bandolier, uh, grenade launcher, M16, um, the peg for the eyes adjustment, the pistol, broken arm, a um, bunch of grenades. Over here we have uh, the big giant bar for that really heartbreaking uh, scene. Here's everything laid out across the table. All the goodies that you get from this uh, deluxe set. Um, the markup isn't too much more over standard Hot Toys releases, in my opinion. This one came, uh, was $314.99, I believe. And uh, the regular editions are still available on Sideshow. Now I'd like to talk about the extra mile they went with this Hot Toys release. If you turn over uh, and go you know, behind the head, you can uh, open the canopy and reveal the adjustments. Now the left eye there, you see that little peg hole right there? That adjusts the eye left and right orientation. While for the right eye, you can turn the uh, red LED on or off. You still get the versatility of uh, both eyes that's it's so amazing these this set is just is blowing my mind and the regular uh, the other sculpt with you can, it just, it just had you do the same thing but you can control both eyes to look the left and right orientation The Saving Grace Grenade Launcher is also very, uh, fairly robust in its articulation. Uh, you can fold up and down the sight here, and um, you can actually, uh, if we unlock it right here, which you must be very careful with because if you're just trying to pop it open, you could accidentally uh, break the uh, lock just over the stock here. Um, just uh, flip that over, uh, you know, counter or clockwise and uh, you know you can fold it open and inside you can put up to three uh, grenade shells uh, which one is already uh, preloaded inside so and also if you're uh, buying this on the second hand market um, be careful that this is something that could easily be broken that lock right there the trigger does not pull um, though I'm not sure if I've seen this handgun um, before it's not it, it hasn't come with any of my other hot toys um, the hammer does pull uh, full, pull back and you can um, cock the gun this is also something that you have to be careful with because the hammer is easily breakable you can pull out the clip and uh, it's very interesting because there is a bullet in the clip uh, very very versatile uh, as far as a little mini handgun this thing is so small and uh, you can actually see inside the chamber too, but it's kind of funny because, you know, it looks like the bullet is jammed inside of the, the clip right there whenever you do so. But it's still cool, uh, in my opinion. I'm just glad they didn't recycle that plain black handgun that seems to be in so many other Hot Toys releases. Here we have both T-1000 head sculpts next to each other. On the left we have the expressionless plain metal and on the right we have Robert Patrick's vapid um, liquid metal face. 
Once again, uh, as a reminder, the right head, the Robert Patrick sculpt, is exclusive edition only. And so to give you an idea of what it looks like between both head sculpts, I actually like the the very expressionless, the faceless, rather, um, head sculpt a lot. It's, it, it worked very well with the body. And here is uh, Robert Patrick's uh, liquid metal head sculpt on it. It has more like an angered look. And I don't remember him having an angered look in the movie. I could be wrong. He was always just very vapid and expressionless. So here's going to be one of my favorite parts when I uh, am doing these uh, unboxings for these hot toys. Um, just playing dress up and uh, posings, you know. Um, what are you doing? I said no killing. Um, I, d I didn't kill him. Again, I'm not trying to uh, sound like him. I, don't, I would only butcher it. One of my gripes with this piece um, is going to be his bandolier. I think it's a little too tight, a little too small, as you can see there. It kind of hides his chest damage because it's so tight, it just closes the jacket up. The head sculpt, as you see there, you got to be impressed by that. Otherwise, maybe I'm just really crazy. Enter Bay also has uh, their one-fourth scale T-800 battle damage. That's a really good piece too, but today it's about hot toys. Here's me being uh, a little nitpicky. Um, here's, we, we got the uh, very famous uh, scene where our, the T-800 tries to punch, actually does punch the T-1000 in the face, and then the face turns, and he turns into liquid metal, and and, and it becomes his arm, but uh here you see it, it's as if he was materializing from the ground. Um, he, 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 it was not like that. They were standing pretty much toe to toe. So I don't know where this twisting motion that the T-1000 has and also the, the liquid puddle that it seems like he's rising out above. It doesn't make sense. And also the Robert Patrick sculpt. I mean, that was like the very, very tail end of uh, the formation when he grabs the arm. I mean, it was like a split tenth or hundredths of a second where uh, you could see Robert Patrick's likeness in the liquid metal form. But that's just me being nitpicky again. Um, I don't know. Maybe there are some licensing issues there too. I don't, I don't know. If you're trying to make a faithful recreation of that exact scene with the stances and poses, you're not going to get it with this. Uh, the T-1000 just, it was, they were not standing like that. Uh, the T-1000, this, this head sculpt on it, it makes more sense. It was pretty much, this was how his, his face or its face was during this scene. So if you, if there's any accuracy to be had, it would be with this head. But the exclusive Robert Patrick head, it's, it's a nice little addition if you want to do your own thing. So this is my favorite setup the severed or destroyed uh, left arm with the grenade launcher. He should not have that grenade launch, grenade shell in his bandolier. It's blasphemy. I I know. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, um, super damaged. Uh, you know, with a red eye, head sculpt. This is the image that stands out everlasting. Uh, whenever I think of the Terminator Two movie. Here we have the right LED eye lit up. Um, it actually is very bright. Um, I apologize if uh, it's not portraying very well through this video. I'm going to turn off the light here. As you can see, it, it doesn't portray that well in video, but it is actually uh, surprisingly very bright. And it takes three of those really tiny cell batteries to get this thing going. Again, that this head sculpt, it you got to be impressed. It just makes me wonder how Hot Toys can do such a spectacular job. It's just absolutely perfect on something like this, but then just flops so hard on some of their other releases. It's it's such a stark contrast, especially when you compare these head sculpts to the last. T-800 release from Hot Toys.
the non-battle damaged version. And here I'm just having some fun recreating some of the scenes from the movie, such as uh, this uh, right before he gets that gut-wrenching impaling. Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, great material laying around, so it's not going to be a shot-for-shot accuracy, but I hope you get the idea. So that's going to be a wrap for this unboxing slash review. Uh, from this point forward, I'm going to be filming all of my collectibles uh, from Sideshow, Hot Toys, and whatnot, as I should have been in the past. But um, I guess better late than never, right? And trust me, guys, I have a lot on pre-order. Uh, Apocalypse Premium Format, Hot Toys Thor, Hot Toys Iron Man. There's so many of them from Iron Man 3. Um, even the obscure ones like the Hot Toys, uh, Metal Gear Rising. Uh, so if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It makes it all worthwhile. I have plenty more stuff coming out, video game related and just uh, you know Marvel, DC Universe type stuff. So um, I hope to hear and uh, see you guys again soon.